Yermiyahu, Jeremiah 5. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now, and know, and seek in the broad places thereof, if ye can find a man, if there be any that executes judgment, that seeks the truth, and I will pardon it. And though they say, Yahuwah lives, surely they swear falsely. O Yahuwah, are not your eyes upon the truth? You have stricken them, but they have not grieved. You have consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore I said, Surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of Yahuwah nor the judgment of their Elohim. I will get me unto the great men, and will speak unto them, for they have known the way of Yahuwah, and the judgment of their Elohim. But these have altogether broken the yoke, and burst the bonds. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evenings shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. Everyone that goes out thence shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many, and their backslidings are increased. How shall I pardon you for this? Your children have forsaken me, and sworn by them that are no Elohim. When I had fed them to the full, they then broke wedlock and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. They were as fed horses in the morning. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's woman. Shall I not visit for these things, says Yahuwah? And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Go ye up upon her walls and destroy but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, for they are not Yahuwah's. For the house of Yashadael and the house of Yahudah have dealt very treacherously against me, says Yahuwah. They have belied Yahuwah and said, It is not he. Neither shall evil come upon us. Neither shall we see the sword nor famine. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word is not in them. Thus shall it be done unto them. Wherefore, thus says Yahuwah Elohai Savaoth, Because ye speak at this word, behold, I will make my words in your mouth fire, and this people wood, and it shall devour them. Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far, O house of Yashadael, says Yahuwah. It is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation, a nation whose language you know not, neither understand what they say. Their quiver is as an open sepulcher. They are all mighty men. And they shall eat up your harvest and your bread, which your sons and your daughters should eat. They shall eat up your flocks and your herds. They shall eat up your vines and your fig trees. They shall impoverish your fenced cities, wherein you trusted with the sword. Nevertheless, in those days, says Yahuwah, I will make a full end with you, and it shall come to pass, when ye shall say, Wherefore does Yahuwah, Eloheinu, Eth all these things unto us. Then shall you answer them, Like as ye have forsaken me, and served strange Elohai in your land, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Declare this in the house of Yaakov, and publish it in Yahudah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, 
and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, says Yahuwah, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? But this people has a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear at Yahuwah Eloheinu, that gives rain, both the former and the latter, in his season. He reserves unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withheld good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that sets snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, says Yahuwah? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof?'